Assalamu alaikum students here is Usama Tahir from Learn English with Usama Tahir I have started delivering lectures on different linguistic concepts and today I am going to explain a very basic linguistic concept and uh, if you are a university student and you are doing linguistics you must have encountered with this concept and with this uh, study and I hope it will be beneficial for you in your studies and even if you are not a linguistic student and if you are watching this video for the general perspective then this video is very interesting and you are going to love it today my topic is human language properties students human language is unique in its own from any other animal language bird language or any other living beings languages human language is unique it is different than all the other languages of animals in the world. Human language is advanced, human language is unique, human language fulfills different uh, aspects and needs of life. So we know that the humans are the only species with knowledge. So human language is something different from all the other animal and bird languages. And we are going to deal with the properties of human languages today. First of all, human language. Human languages are unique because of having. Wait a minute. Human languages are unique because of having unique set of traits which separates it from animal and other living being languages. So the properties of human languages are so much unique that it separates it from all the other living beings and animal languages so the human language is different first of all what are the properties what are the human language properties or the attributes or human language uh, kind of features in the human language that is so interesting and intriguing arbitrariness the very first property we will discuss here is arbitrariness first of all the process of giving random names given to objects, things, feelings, ideas in language. Students in language we have names of objects, ideas, things like for example uh, if a student asks me that why a table is called a table. Is there any logical answer uh, uh, can be given on this question? No. The idea that we give random names to objects, things and ideas in language is called arbitrariness. There is no logical reason that why we call a car a car, a mango a mango, a table a table and a school a school. Just people decide on the one word or the sign to associate with the object, with the thing, with the idea, with the person and we start calling it. So this property of language, this flexibility in a language is called arbitrariness. We call a man a man. Just people just decided on to call a male a man or an old man to be a man and a young person to be a boy. And it was just decided randomly and people started using it. And this property in a language, this flexibility in a language is called arbitrariness. There is no way to predict what the object would be called. There is no way that how would you name it because you just decide people started calling it and it, uh, it randomly given name. And there is no logical reason for that to call a table a table or a mango a mango or house a house. This unique features adds to the flexibility of the language. Language becomes flexible because you can invent new names in a language you can make new and new words in a language because of this property uh, it adds the it enhances the flexibility uh, in a language because you can randomly give names to objects ideas and things so you can make new and new words and it is beneficial in a language to be more flexible and re reduces the rigidity the rigidity in a language so it is clear if you have any question you can ask me after this video in the comment section next is duality multiple forms so duality as it is cleared with the name that duality two like dual sim uh, the two sims can be operated in a single cell phone so language has the property of duality 
like it has in multiple forms it can be written one and spoken to duality so this is the concept of duality that language has the two levels written you can write the words and you can speak out them louder in the spoken form language has the two layers written and the spoken and the second concept which is different from the first one is language has two levels the primary level and the secondary level okay in the primary level consisting of units what are the units we will discuss them later and the secondary level consisting of the elements okay language has two according to concept of duality language has two levels primary level and the secondary level in many respect this is fairly self evident okay what are the units like individual consonants pa ba ta da ka ga or the vowels u a e combined to create primary level words units pig cat door so in primary level we have sounds and in the secondary level we have sorry in the secondary level consist of uh, elements in many respect this is fairly self evident it is really observable that elements such as individual okay secondary level consist of elements such as uh, consonants and they make uh, consisting of units primary level which is which are the words so here we have words and we are, here we have elements like consonants or the vowels so they are joined together to make the units words which are at the primary level so this is a little bit tricky you need to understand it next one is productivity okay this is a significant feature that separates the human language from the other animal languages that it has the property of productivity what is meant by productivity to be productive okay it is very easy that feature of human language which enables us to combine symbols what are the symbols it could be words sounds and phrases in new way to express unlimited ideas students human language is productive human language is creative to a greater extent that you can use the limited set of sounds words or phrases to make unlimited utterances unlimited sentences and unlimited constructions for example if you want to say that give me a you can use multiple utterances even for giving the single idea for example you want a glass of water you can say give me a glass of water you can also say could you please give me a glass of water you can also say i am thirsty you can also say uh, why are you not giving me the glass of water so language has the unlimited languages language has the limitless number of utterances in it and you have limited set of sounds to make them so this property this creativity of the language is called the productivity the property of language to produce unlimited utterance from the limited in language we have limited set of sounds for example we have round about 42 sounds we have 26 letters and we have a uh, limited set of phrases there are these phrases are not unlimited but you can use them in unlimited way for example i got up early in the morning early in the morning i got up you made two utterances from the same set of sound words and phrases similarly you can make countless utterances okay what leon says said in 1977 is quite crucial the property of the language system which enables native speakers to construct and understand an indefinitely large number of utterances including utterances that they have never previously encountered so he says productivity is a property which enables native the mother language users to construct and understand unlimited set of utterances even they understand and they make those utterances which they have never encountered or have never produced before why because they are the native speakers and they have limited set but through which they create unlimited set of uh, utterances which even they haven't heard before or they haven't produced before so this is interesting and significant uh, feature of human language that is creative that in even noam chomsky says 
that language has the ability to produce unlimited set of sentences out of limited number of sources or limited number of sounds and uh, letters and phrases etc next one is displacement displacement describe or refer to things that are not visually present students human language has the capacity to talk about things which are not even visually present which are not in present in time or space animal languages are only applicable in the context in which it is used if a dog barks it is for the certain period of time in which a dog is barking but human language can talk about the things which happened in the past which would happen in the future or which is not visually present so this a uh, property is closely associated with the human languages and not with the animal ones for example babies are often taught displacement when they are asked questions such as where is grandma even when grandma is not in the room using this property shows that words are still valid with or without visual support and this is not happening in the animal language and in animal language you can only talk about which is visually present which is present in time and space but in human language we are talking with the baby about the grandma who is not physically present in the time and still it's valid or can be supported similarly when we talk about the history language enables us to talk about things which have happened earlier and if we talk about science discoveries language enables us to talk about what will happen in the future so this is the unique human language property to talk about things which are not visually present or which are which happened in the past or which will happen in the future okay uh, this was very easy concept and if if still it is hard for you contact me cultural transmission okay what do you think cultural transmission mean that language is culturally transmitted from one generation to another that it is a part of culture that is Uh, transmitted from parents to the kids or language is uh, god gifted like a dog never learns like in animal languages a dog never learns to bark he naturally had that ability so human had that ability or not what do you think about it okay do you think they have or do you think they don't they don't yes they don't they learn it language is culturally transmitted in human beings unlike animals who are gifted with required signals and signs i mean the birds animals dogs cats lions they are gifted with required signals and signs which are very limited we know that and they in in them it is not culturally transmitted but in human beings it has the uh, capacity human have the capacity to culturally transmit into other human beings and they learn it we acquire it in the childhood like we acquire other norms of our society humans are not born with innate understanding of communication like lions or birds are so they acquire it like other cultural norms from society so human language has the property of cultural transmission and it is not uh, god gifted this is what human language property is specialization specialization allows humans to use words to describe a physical action without actually having to do the action in human language we can make others to perform physical actions without even if without even doing it for example if we want someone to leave the room we can be shout that get out and the person will leave the room this is the specialization property in the language we can say write the letter and the student will write the letter this property will be called specialization it means that you can make others uh, to move physically or to perform something physically by using language we will also uh, use uh, we will also relate this concept with the speech acts later in any of my video but right now it is limited and you will have to learn only this concept so next is systematicity systematicity mean language has rules and regulations unlike arbitrariness i mean giving names to things is irregular you just decide on and you give name uh, to a fruit mango and to another fruit apple but in the language a uh, structures has association with rules and regulations we have proper rules and regulations to make structures to construct sentences 
in every language there is possible construction and not possible ones like in every language for example in urdu maine khana khaya khana maine khaya it could be wrong or if you say banana is food and not food banana is so this is the wrong construction which systematicity will tell you for example my name is usama is usama my name the meaning will change or even it's not acceptable for example banana is fruit fruit banana is apple is a uh, my this is my school my school this is it would be wrong and systematicity will tell you about how you make the sentence we have systematicity how to join words to make sentences or meaningful utterances systematicity is a something about the structure of sentences that what are the rules that would be followed to make the grammatically correct sentences and how to distinguish a grammatically correct sentence and a ungrammatical sentence and on which basis so this was about the properties of human languages and don't forget to like the video and comment and uh, thank you keep watching stay blessed allah hafiz